In this particular video, I want to share my ideas on how traders can best achieve financial freedom as traders. Um, and I'm gonna be drawing on my own personal experience as well as working with many traders, very successful traders who've gone off and achieved financial freedom through trading. And I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts and theories on how you can best navigate through the journey of being a trader from starting to, um, to then being extremely successful to live off your trading full time and achieve financial freedom with it. Now, this may or may not be, you know, some ideas in here that you, you expect, don't expect. So this is gonna be my personal opinion, maybe slightly controversial, um, but I'm gonna share with you things that I believe will work with majority of people. And I've seen work with clients have, have gotten the best results. So the first thing I would love to share here is, especially in the initial stages of learning how to trade and building that foundation you know, building the mindset, building the feel for the market, building an understanding of how the market moves and you know where you want to position yourself and what strategy you want to trade. In those first couple of years as a trader, I think it's incredibly important to have an additional source of income, whether that be a part-time job or a full-time job, where you're not reliant on your trading income, at least initially, to pay bills or to cover expenses. You've got a job there that's covering your bills, covering your expenses. And what this does is it gives you permission to just focus on learning trading, learning a strategy that resonates with you, back testing, making mistakes, learning from these mistakes, refining your mindset, getting in the flow of the market, et cetera, et cetera. So the first thing I'd love to share here is especially for those first couple of years when you're building a foundation, don't expect to make money from trading. Some of you may, some of you may not, but don't let that be the goal. Let the goal be to build the strongest foundation possible, to build a trading plan that's congruent with you, and to build a mindset that allows you to just focus on executing on the processes and not being too um, worried about what the outcome is gonna be, trade to trade, month to month, year to year. Focus on the processes. The best way to do that is to have an additional source of income that actually allows you to just focus on the process of learning how to trade and learning how to build that foundation. Now, I'm also a big believer that um, you shouldn't be reliant on your trading income full time. I believe there are so many factors in the market that can't be accounted for that to rely on your trading income specifically and solely can bring a lot of emotional volatilities into your life that a lot of people just don't want. So whether that be having a strong cash cushion or a cash foundation and then trading or building additional businesses or working additional projects that produce income or working jobs that you love um, is also an incredibly wise thing to carry on um, while you continue to trade. So my particular suggestion um, is to, after you've built a strong foundation, you've built a trading strategy and you know what particular style you'd love to trade, my suggestion is to scale up through prop firms. I think the propriety trading firms we have access to nowadays is an incredibly, it's a, it's a no-brainer option to pick up additional capital at a very low risk, at a very low entry point um, to scale your trading and to scale the income you make through your trading. Some of you may even choose not to trade private capital and just manage prop firm capital, which I think is a great option. Um, I think you take a lot of personal risk of your shoulders and you give yourself permission to scale up significantly very low risk. So after you've built that strong foundation, you've got a great trading plan, I think it's then wise to take advantage of the prop firms. This allows you to scale and leverage your knowledge and leverage your trading plan and leverage your skill as a trader. I then think that the next consideration here is that you wanna think about how can I diversify my overall wealth creation system, right? I've spent a couple years developing a trading strategy. I'm now leveraging that trading strategy with prop firms and taking full advantage of my knowledge and my skill as a trader. How can I now diversify my overall wealth creation system? I think there are two really great considerations here that I've seen a lot of very successful traders do that I've, you know, I'm on the journey of doing now as well in my, in my overall wealth creation journey, whatever you want to call it. And that's going off and creating a positive sum form of business. Now, what I personally found uh, when I was just solely focused on trading is that it didn't necessarily bring me the fulfillment I wanted. And it didn't necessarily have me going out and serving people and helping people overcome their challenges and accomplish their goals. Um, 
but it was in a sense, me just more focused on myself and me focused my trading. So I felt like I wanted to go off and I wanted to go off and create a business that I was inspired to help other people with and could also produce an additional source of income for me. So what I'm gonna say here is I think another important consideration as a trader, especially after you get yourself to a point where you've streamlined your trading, it's all process-based, you've maybe scaled up with some funding, is to then look at starting additional businesses you're inspired to start. Now you don't wanna get this business to a point where it's taken away from your trading, but have a business that you're inspired to go off and serve people with that brings a level of fulfillment to your life and that you can create an additional source of income with. What I found with me is that starting a business, obviously I've got the education performance coaching business. This is where I pass on my teachings and psychology and human behavior to help traders overcome their challenges, to help them achieve funding goals. That's something I'm incredibly inspired about. I love trading. I love the human behavior and psychology component. And I love helping other people. And this has given me an opportunity to go off and help people get a source of income, which has taken pressure off the need to earn through trading as well, which allows you to go back to your processes and just focus on executing on a trading plan and not being worried about the independent outcome of every position. It takes a lot of pressure off your shoulders. So one of my suggestions here is to look at starting that positive sum business where you increase income sources, uh, you increase fulfillment in your life, et cetera, et cetera, but it also doesn't take away from your trading. And the other suggestion here is diversifying your overall wealth and investments. Now, I had a very profound um, interaction with one of my coaches, whatever you want to call them. And what they said to me was that as long as you're trading to make income, you're working for the income you make, it's not working for you. So their suggestion was to take every dollar or uh, a portion of every dollar you make as a trader in business and go and put that into investments, low cost, uh, investments like an index fund, for example, that then pays you some form of a dividend. Now, when I was going off and, you know, when you automate that particular process and you go off and buy a, an, an index fund, for example, that then pays you a, a dividend distribution. So that's true passive income that you're not working for. It's working for you. It's compounding and it's paying you a, a dividend every quarter, for example. So the third or the second consideration, I don't know what we're up to, is to then look at diversing your overall investments. So every, a portion of every dollar you make through your trading and potentially through your business then gets put into investments um, and you have those investments working for you and producing income for you. So just let's have a backtrack here and let's think about what we've discussed. Instead of solely relying on trading and diving in and thinking that it's your only way to make income and being so heavily focused on trading where you then go off and force positions and take trades that aren't part of your plan and you're extremely emotional, extremely fearful and greedy, what you've done is you've taken a position and a step back and you've realized that you know trading is just a tool at the end of the day. I love trading, but it's at the end of the day just a tool to help me multiply the wealth I have and to, to, to scale up and to make more income. And you've realized that, you know what, I don't have to just be relying on trading. I can work a part-time and full-time job. And then when I then create a business, I can leverage away from that part-time and full-time job. I can be focused on something that serves people, that's fulfilling to me and it generates income for me. And then I can also trade on the side because it doesn't take much time throughout my day to trade. And hey, guess what? Because I'm making more income through my work and through um, other avenues, I don't have to force positions. I can focus on just executing on my trading plan when the market presents opportunities. And then for every a percentage of every dollar I make through business and through trading, of course, after I've built up a sizable cash cushion and I've got some expenses stashed in cash, um, I'm then gonna go off and invest in, um, in assets that produce for me so that I'm not constantly working for money, but I start getting money working for me. And the whole point of this video is to, yes, to share some particular insights on what I've seen with clients, what I've done for myself, but it's also to expand um, some of you guys and girls' awareness about additional income sources so you don't have to fully be reliant on your trading. And some people think that this then takes away from the results in trading, but I've actually seen the, uh, the inverse to be true. I found that when people have additional sources of income and they're not so reliant on trading to make them income, that's actually when their results skyrocket and they start to do incredibly well. And what I've come to realize is the, the reason that's the case is because when people aren't uh, focused on making income as traders, it gives, them, it gives them permission to just execute on the process, to execute on their trading plan. 
And that done over a long period of time is ultimately what re reaps the rewards as a trader. So hopefully this was insightful. It was, a, it was a little bit more of a casual conversation if anything, but hopefully it opened your mind to additional considerations. This doesn't mean you have to do all these things now, but what I wanted to do was just open your mind to think that you know, potentially the way you can position your trading and leverage other areas and leverage other businesses and other investments to then go off and achieve financial independence, um, there are other ways to do that. Um, and a little bit of an additional insight on financial independence, there are two forms of financial independence we can discuss. Stage one financial independence is when you go off and achieve uh, an income source through a business you're inspired by and through potentially your trading that doesn't take much time. And that then covers your expenses, right? So you've, you've moved away being dependent on a job, a nine to five or a part-time job, and you can generate that income independently through your business and through your trading. And you've covered your monthly expenses with that. Stage two financial independence only comes when you're exceeding those expenses through passive income, through a dividend yield, through an investment. And that's much longer term of a play. It's maybe 10, 20, 30 years down the track. But I, that's why I think it's really smart to a portion of all the income you make through your trading, through your business, you're putting into dividend yielding investments that compound and eventually you can use that to cover your expenses later down the track. And I really think that this is the wisest way to go off and achieve financial independence as a trader um, and to expand your overall and diversify your overall wealth creation system. So hopefully it was insightful and it gave you, gave you some insights. Um, if, if you're a trader out there that you know, wants to improve decision-making, lower emotional volatilities, check out the free tool we have. If you found this useful, please share this with your friends. Um, it helps me grow um, as well. And I wanna get more of this information, more awareness and trading mindset out there. So I'll see you all in the next video.